Welcome to your Straight Razor Edge Friday Special. If I could only have one shaving brush for straight razor shaving. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. If you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave and all things straight razor related, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. We're looking at shaving brushes. I went through a discovery process for brushes. Now I went to all the YouTube channels that I could find for straight razor shaving to see what other guys were using. And I found out most of them were using Badger and Badger is really expensive and it didn't fit in my budget. So I was curious, could I go out and find something that would fit my budget, do a good job, and actually be a decent brush. So I went out looking for that. Now, we're gonna go through my process of discovery. And hopefully this will help you if you're new to straight razor shaving and you don't have anything. Let's start right now. First off, I started with this. This brush right here, this is a Vanderhagen brush and I got this out of the premium Vanderhagen shave set. Now this gives you the brush, soap, and a bowl to put that soap in and you can get this for less than 15 bucks on Amazon right now. I have got it on sale for as low as like eight bucks. So good place to start. You got soap, you got a bowl, you got a brush, and it is a boar brush dyed to look like badger, all right? The next brush I got is this Simogue, and this is the 1305, again, dyed to look like badger, but that is a boar brush, and if you look at that, that is quite nice, and it is, really a good brush. Now this was 20 bucks on Amazon, which is a good price for a good brush. Next, I picked up an Omega 10,098. Now this is a big, beautiful brush. This is premium bore and this is fantastic. I love the handle on this. I like the way it grips. And I love this brush and how big it is and how it really holds up. This is one of my favorite brushes that I have. And you can pick up this brush for less than $14 on Amazon, brand new. And believe me, you would have a good brush to take care of you for quite a long time. Next, I picked up another Samogue, but this is the Samogue Owners Club. That is Ash. This again is premium bore, and look at this knot. Isn't that beautiful? And now this is again, beautiful brush. That is really going to be quite nice, real wood. And this is 29 bucks or less on eBay's where I got it and it really a nice brush and works quite well so if this looks interesting to you you could go ahead and go with something like this next up i decided i was going to make my own brush so here is the connecticut quarter brush i actually had this handle it did originally have a badger knot in it that just kind of disintegrated on me but i went to maggard razors and picked up this synthetic. I wanted to try synthetic and all I had was natural boar hair, but I thought, let me try this synthetic, which actually turned out to be a fantastic brush. This is a 22 millimeter Maggard razor synthetic knot, like I say, and it was like six bucks with some epoxy and boom. I got a brush right there. So that is a way you could go if you actually had 
a handle that you could put it in. Next, I had been playing with some bamboo and I thought, well, I have heard 30 millimeter synthetic knots are amazing. And again, I built one. So this, that's a quarter of, for the Grand Canyon there. And this is real bamboo. And that is a 30 millimeter black and white tuxedo knot from Maggard Razors. And this is a fantastic brush, a real lather machine, just like my other synthetic, except this is so much bigger. Now I did sink this knot in to this brush a considerable amount. So it's got some nice backbone as well. And that is fantastic. The knot costs $10 on eBay from Maggard Razors. Really good deal. Next, the Alpha Brush and Shave Company sent me this. All right. This is a Alpha T400. This is marvelous aluminum. And that is a uh, badger. This is the only badger brush I have. And it's a beautiful silver tip and this comes apart so you can go ahead and put that badger brush on there or you can take it off now that is solid which is fantastic i got this premium bore in another ferrule and look at that it just screws right on and you are in business. Now, let me show you this because I do like the Omega 10,098. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? That is almost identical. And again, a good brush. Now, it doesn't stop there though. All right. I can unscrew that one. And I have another ferrule here. And now this has got a synthetic knot in it and just screw that together just like that. And now I've got this beautiful synthetic knot in this brush and that is fantastic. Now these are much more expensive. Right here is Steve's email address. You can email him and find out all the particulars about it. Next, what I got was the King Brush. This comes from King Brush and it is the Adventures in Wet Shaving King Brush. It is just magnificent. It is so beautiful. This is a 24 millimeter premium bore knot and this is fantastic. I really enjoyed this one. Now, let me show you why I also enjoy this. Look at that. The handles are almost identical, right? And isn't that beautiful? It just got so much color. And then if you look at this, the Samoke Owners Club and this brush now Okay, you can see the brush is so similar to the Smoke Owners Club with the Omega 10,098 style handle. And if you look at that, this is actually even packed denser than the Omega Owners Club, which is fantastic. Now, if I could only pick one, it would be this. King Brush, the Adventures in Wet Shaving King Brush. This one is fantastic. I really enjoy and the handle design. I enjoy the knot. This has got the best of both worlds and it is fantastic. Now, here's the link for Eric at King Brush and he can hook you up with one of these as well. You can click up here to see if I could only have one, the series from the beginning. I think it could be helpful, especially if you're new. And if you're not new, there may be something in there that could be helpful for you as well. 
I get my ideas for these Straight Razor Edge Friday specials from you. So down in the comments, go ahead, leave me questions, comments, suggestions, maybe even ideas for an upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday special, and we will get that going for you. Now, if you've been around for a while or you're new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Like this video if you like it. I do Shave of the Day videos every Sunday, so stop on by for that. Wouldn't be the same without you here. And down in the description, I've got a ton of links for straight razor shaving and honing videos and playlists, especially for you. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.